Hello Tech Team, welcome back to another video of Amazon Web Services. In this video, we are going to see how we can utilize code build and code pipeline services to build a CI/CD pipeline on AWS Cloud Platform. By end of this video, as a developer, you will be confident enough to build continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline as shown in the diagram. Initially, we'll build a simple Spring Boot application, then we push the code into a new GitHub repository. Next, we'll look at how to create Elastic Beanstalk environment using AWS console. As a final step, we'll see how to create code build project and how to create a code pipeline to connect GitHub repository so that it can pull the code, build and deploy the application on Elastic Beanstalk environment. If you are interested in learning AWS Cloud Platform and its services, stay tuned to this channel by subscribing it. And don't forget to pressing the bell icon so that you don't miss my future videos. Let's get started. Why do we need CI/CD pipeline? To keep up the competition, software development teams need to be able to deliver new features with speed and agility. This includes being able to rapidly build and test the code, but there are some bottlenecks to take the products into the market as quickly as possible. Developer has to wait for longer build queues and ops engineers have to deal with scaling, configuring and maintaining the build servers. Wouldn't it be nice if there is a tool which can automate the complete process to build and test your code. That makes developer's life more easier and simple so that he can put more focus on building the product and implementing the business logic. That is where AWS code build and AWS code pipeline comes into picture and can help you in automating this process. In the next slide we are going to see how we can build this complete flow. Before getting our hands dirty with the demo, let's look at the complete CI/CD flow and its setup. Initially we are going to build a simple Spring Boot application and once we have done that we push this application code into new github repository once we have that then we need to build a simple code build project so this code build project needs a build spec yaml file from our application code so that is very important so that it, so once we have this then we need to build a elastic beanstalk environment because before we build the aws code pipeline we should have the our environment where we are going to deploy our applications. So we should know the environment name so that we can configure in AWS code pipeline. So once we have this, then we'll look into how we can deploy the Spring Boot application on Elastic Beanstalk. So once we make change into our code and push the code into GitHub repository, automatically code build service pull the code from GitHub repository and build the chart and test it and deploys the application on or elastic beanstalk that's what the process actually so this is how it works this complete flow so let's get our hands dirty now i'm going to build a simple rest api using a spring boot framework i'm using uh, intellij as my ide i'm going to use java 11 to build the project next let's give the group name make it as hello world i'm going to use uh, java maven and java 11 version let's keep everything as it is now i'm going to choose the web module so we are going to build a simple rust api so we need the web module from spring framework and that's it and let's go finish very simple project i'm going to make uh, small changes on the main class is we have to build a REST API so I'm going to define a simple REST controller here and request mapping that's going to be so I'm going to create a new method returns hello world let's put it as a HTML header so that it will be a bit clear to see the hello world on the browser. I think that's it. So we have the REST API ready. To 
define the traffic so when we invoke the vault endpoint on this api it will give the response hello world this is a very simple application and we need to have a build spec build spec file is nothing but like a if we have worked with Jenkins, you define the Jenkins file, right? It is similar to Jenkins file. It will contain the steps, what to be done once the code build pulls the code from our GitHub repository, compiling the code and building the jar, all that stuff. And uh, one more step we need to do that. We need to define the better to have a simple name as our application chart name. Let's make it as hello. Hello world. And we have to create a build spec file in the. So I already have the content of this file. <clears throat> so it is a version 0.2 phases, the build phase. So just we are going to have the. And we have to run the MVN clean package so that it will create the jar for our application. And post build, after the building the jar, what should be done? Just we need to have some message like yeah, build completed successfully. That's it. and the artifact name. So where the jar is there, so that the code build can identify this jar that needs to be deployed on a Elastic Beanstalk environment. And this got passed. So this is very simple um, build spec. Uh, actually, the code build is going to read this build spec .yml file, and it will create the jar and it will deploy the jar on Elastic Beanstalk and uh, yeah let's run this application locally whether it works or not let's run this application and open the browser this world yes you can see that working locally and we need to make a small change because we need to define the port number server port and now it is running on 8080 once we deploy our application on elastic beanstalk the api gateway will be created automatically it expects that our application will be running on port number 5000-5000. So we had to put this port number in application.properties file. Now we are going to create a GitHub repository. It's going to be hello world create repository. So we have the repository on our GitHub and we need to add this application code to our repository so we need to push this code so we need to follow the steps defined here in each and every. so we need to initialize the repository first let's clear so get in it the github repository is initialized locally and we need to check its status so we have to push form.xml and src folders and build spec.yml and git ignore these are the main files or folders that we need to push into our github repository let's push them first we need to add them one by one so git add src folder git add form.xml and git ignore let's check the git status all the needed files and folders are pushed to our local git commit the all these files and folders git commit as a first commit it's a git branch main and we need to add this to remote github with this command everything is added now we need to push with this command now everything is pushed and if you refresh our github repository page you can see that all the code is available on github repository we have built a spring boot application and also we push it complete code into the, our github repository i'm going to open AWS console so I have the option here to choose to go directly to the Elastic Beanstalk uh, user interface so we have to click on the create application so give the application name so 
Hello World App Application Tags not required for now. Platform. So our application is a Java application, so we have to choose Java and uh, Java 11 version we are going to use. The platform version is 316. By default, it has been chosen. It's a sample application and uh, upload your code because if you have the compiled jar, the build jar ready, you can upload your jar also to directly because now we are not going to do that because we are going to pull the code from GitHub repository and we are going to build the jar using the code build and code pipeline. You can go ahead by clicking create application. It takes a couple of minutes to build the complete environment for us. Once the Elastic Beanstalk environment is created, you will see this screen. The health is working. The so deploy tool provider, we choose Elastic Beanstalk. And by default, it will show you the environment name or application name that has been created on Elastic Beanstalk. So the Hello World app, that is the application name that we have chosen while creating Elastic Beanstalk environment. So that is the Hello World app. So environment name, Hello World app. This is the environment name that has been shown here and you have to choose that environment and next log into AWS management console it will be like this go to code pipeline by searching here otherwise you can simply select if you are already logged into code pipeline console it will show the option here to go there so create pipeline Pipeline Niam is going to be Hello World Pipeline. New service role, we can choose the service source provider. So we are going to pull the code from GitHub. So we have to choose the GitHub version too. You can choose Git GH Connect because that is already configured. So I'm going to choose the existing connection name, installation of app choose the application that we have click on connect code build is able to recognize the build spec and the project and the branch name is main code pipeline default so don't make any changes click on next and the build provider so we are using code build the region is us east project name so here we are going to create the new project on for code build so choose create build project the project name is going to be hello world operating system amazon linux 2 runtime is going to standard the image we choose the latest one environment type linux new service role code build hello world service problem use build spec file build spec name optional if you have defined the build spec name other than a build spec you can mention that name exactly what it was so otherwise just choose the use a build spec file and choose the cloud watch if you want to cloud watch alarms you can choose that and if you want to store the logs on s3 bucket that also can be done here but we are not going to do that click on the continue code pipeline it takes a couple of minutes so these are the steps are required to build a CACD pipeline so that has been done so next deploy provider so where we are going to deploy our application so AWS Beanstalk region is ES East application name we have already created the our application name on Elastic Beanstalk environment the environment name also it be shown here by default once we have chosen application name and environment click on next so these are the pipeline settings that are going to be performed so basically once you click on the create pipeline the code pipeline will try to pull the code from github repository and perform the steps that we have defined on the build spec file see now it is executing the CACD pipeline so it is trying to pull the source from the github repository that is in progress and you can see the progress bar here in the right side of the page now it is trying to build the application jar the second progress bar is running it takes a couple of minutes and you can see the 
the commit message also build is failed now what is the reason click on the details and see what happened what is the reason for failure the problem is actually there is a spelling mistake of the jar name that has been defined in the build spec file i think this is the problem now i'm going to push this change commit file just put the message as correct at the jar name commit and push now you can see that it will run the code pipeline again see when i push in the change it has started the building it again actually we corrected the jar name the whatever the commit message i have given that has been here so whatever the change i have made and push it to the github repository it will be identified by the code pipeline and it will try to, to pull the latest code and build the jar Think that's the problem hope it will be solved the first step is finished the build is in progress now come on see now the build is green so it is succeeded so now it is trying to deploy the application on uh, elastic beanstalk environment it will be done very quickly i think so once it is success we are going to test this application by calling the endpoint uh, from the browser so the deployment is finished so once you come back here if you see this is actually using this url you can access your application well, what is our endpoint that i have given it is the world right see hello world so that means the application is deployed successfully and we are able to get the response as we expected now let us see actually got a new requirement to add another endpoint to your application so we are going to see how it works we are going to have one more endpoint that is hello tector and this method hello tector so we added one more endpoint to our rest api push this change to the github repository commit file added another endpoint we can see this uh, commit message on our code pipeline that ensures that our latest code has been pushed and it's going to deploy it on the elastic beanstalk environment commit and push and if you go here you can see this change it should pick up quickly yeah it's progress it started already the source pulling is finished and now it is building the jar and you can see the commit message now you see the deployment is also finished let us test the new endpoint that we have added detector that is our new endpoint yes it worked we have added the new endpoint to the existing rest api that also worked in this way we can automate the complete uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment for our application you have seen that uh, how we can utilize code pipeline and cold build services on aws cloud platform to build a complete uh, cicd process so that's it how cicd pipeline works if you like this video like it and share with your friends and colleagues and If you are interested on AWS cloud platform and its services, I am going to make more videos on this AWS services. So if you are interested, consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss my future videos. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.